What's happening, fam? LA All Movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, unfortunately. When he's grown, they'll say massage and walk. See, this is a problem. They'll blame it on hip hop and the television culture and the music. But I just looked typed up, you know, children dressed like adults, and that was part of it. And the unfortunate thing was the white kids were just dressed like adults. And they had one white kid dressed like Post Malone, but it was, you could tell it was Halloween. But a lot of the black kids would, you know, they had, you know, I didn't put the one up with the girl. They had the girl bent over with like Burberry underwear on. Like it was, you know, and she was about the same age as the boy in the thumbnail. But, you know, people, it's the father. It's the father not being in the home. Okay. When kids are dressed like that and are taught to act like that, we're just going to act like they just picked it up out of the clear sky like nothing. He just sagging with money on the air. And the other thing about that is it kind of, it has an undertone of somebody's, you know, ch child's mother has been has been dating dope boys. So they're technically raising this this toddler to be a dope boy. That's going to be some of his earliest memories. And there are other kids like that in these videos, in, in, in the picture section. All you got to do is Google it. But that's going to be Massage Noir. You know. I don't know why these kids, you know, they calling these girls this and this and that. And it's because of the, the, the hip hop. And it's because, you know, you can even blame, you know, misogyny or the manosphere. Whatever you want to blame. But I'm pretty much proof positive that guys aren't teaching this type of behavior to the extent that women are. Because you say the guys are not in the home, so they don't have access to the kids like that, for one. So... This massaging, massage on war that goes on, this bad treatment of women that goes on, this, you know, being with women, um, being bad boys, something that's taught and cultivated and rewarded too often. And then you want to check into the, to the situation where if you really want to be honest about it, It's when that kid becomes 16, 17, and he starts acting that stuff out. That's when it's a problem. That's when, oh, I don't want to be in the black community. The black community is crazy. But nobody, this doesn't happen, like I, like I said earlier, out of the clear blue. It doesn't just pop up out of the sky. This is, this is taught over time. And as much as you ladies... Talk about the, the the girls being so well same some of the same <clears throat> excuse me some of the same black girl magic moms this is how they get down with their son you know some some of the same moms they they don't have daughters this is what they do to their sons but then they empower their nieces this is where this come from and at some point this is gonna have to be talked about. Because when you got young women understanding why drug dealers are attractive and you got, you know, young women training their kids, their sons to look and act like drug dealers and be around drug dealers or not even drug dealers, just degenerates because it's attractive, because that's what they're attracted to. You wonder why this keeps happening over and over and over again. It's because it is. But like I'm done with this one. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.